The war isn't over, but it is ending. It is ending not because of the Paris talks or the demonstrations at home. It is ending because the largest and wealthiest and most powerful organization on earth, the American army, is being challenged from within. Out of the inferno of bombs came Pol Pot, a former Buddhist monk, and the Khmer Rouge, whose revolution had never enjoyed a popular base until Nixon's madman theory of war. The new rulers of Cambodia called 1975 Year Zero, the dawn of an age in which there would be no families, no sentiment, no expressions of love or grief, no medicines, no hospitals, no schools, no books, no learning, no holidays, no music, no song, no post, no money, only work and death. What happened here 18 years ago happened mostly in secret, and this filming is being done in secret without the approval or knowledge of the Indonesian authorities. Journalists and independent observers are not welcome in East Timor. We were providing most of the weaponry, helicopters, logistical support, food, uniforms, ammunition, all the expendables that the Indonesians needed to conduct this war. And we are waging a warfare through the United Nations on the children and people of Iraq with incredible results, results that you do not expect to see in a war under the Geneva Conventions. We're targeting civilians, worse, we're targeting children like Safa. As we and our coalition partners are doing in Afghanistan, we will bring to the Iraqi people food, and medicines, and supplies, and freedom. How many countries has the U.S. attacked in uh, the last been, 15 been, years? Uh, well, since World War II, there have been 72 interventions by the United States. Oh, is that right? Yes. That's ludicrous. Well, it's not ludicrous, it's true. Chile, the only reason it exists is because of Pinochet. At a huge human price. What human price? Give me a break. The CIA played a major role. Oh, th that's right. They may have played a major role in ov overthrowing, uh, wh what's his name? Uh, what's his name was Salvador uh, yeah, Allende. Yeah, fine. Okay. He was democratically it, elected. It, it, right, okay. Is that okay to yeah. overthrow a democratically elected government? Uh, yeah, Is no, it okay? It, it depends on what your national security in interests are. Is Western Australia building more prisons? At the moment, they're, um, I think, racking and stacking them is the uh, vernacular. Excuse me, what racking, is racking and stacking well, mean? Well, they're double bunking. So it, it literally is warehousing people, I think. They're warehousing and yeah. racking and stacking. Yeah. When we look at the Official Secrets Act label documents, um, we see they state that it is an offence to retain the information, and it is an offence to destroy the information. So the only possible outcome is that we have to publish the information. <laughs> I noticed one that I uh, had a, a personal interest in was one that, uh, from the Ministry of Defence, classified document that um, equated uh, terrorists with investigative journalists as threats. And many sections of that report, investigative journalists are the number one a threat to the sort of information security uh, of the Minist Ministry of Defence. That was a, a 2,000 page document on how to stop leaks uh, from the yeah. Ministry of Defence, which, which we leaked. I didn't know whether to be uh, offended or honoured. Well, um, it's ni nice to be having a, an, an impact. <laughs> of Iraq with incredible results, results that you do not expect to see in a war under the Geneva Conventions. We're targeting civilians, worse, we're targeting children like Safa. As we and our coalition partners are doing in Afghanistan, we will bring to the Iraqi people food and medicines and supplies and freedom. 
How many countries has the U.S. attacked in uh, the last been, 15 been, years? Uh, well, since World War II, there have been 72 interventions by the United States. Oh, is that right? Yes. That's ludicrous. Well, it's not ludicrous. It's true. Chile, the only reason it exists is because of Pinochet. At a huge human price. What human price? Give me a break. The CIA played a major role. Oh, that's right. They may have played a major role in over overthrowing, uh, what's his name? Uh, what's his name was Salvador Allende. Uh, uh, yeah, fine. Okay. He was democratically uh, elected. Uh, right, okay. Is that okay to yeah. overthrow a democratically elected government? Uh, yeah, Is well, it okay? Well, it depends on what your national security in interests are. Is Western Australia building more prisons? At the moment, they're, um, I think, racking and stacking them is the uh, vernacular. Excuse me, what racking, is racking and stacking well, mean? Well, they're double bunking. So it, it literally is warehousing people, I think. They're warehousing and yeah. racking and stacking. Yeah. When we look at the Official Secrets Act label documents, um, we see they state that it is an offence to retain the information, and it is an offence to destroy the information. So the only possible outcome is that we have to publish the information. <laughs> I noticed one that I uh, had a, a personal interest in was one that, uh, from the Ministry of Defence, classified document that um, equated uh, terrorists with investigative journalists as threats. And many sections of that report, investigative journalists are the number one a threat to the sort of information security uh, of the Minist Ministry of Defence. That was a, a 2,000 page document on how to stop leaks uh, from the yeah. Ministry of Defence, which, which we leaked. I didn't know whether to be uh, offended or honoured. Well, um, it's ni nice to be having a, an, an impact. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>